Hey guys and welcome back to another Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at this interesting trap called Regulated Hand. So it is a continuous trap card that reads, when this card is activated, banish up to two cards from your deck. During your draw phase, you can target one of your cards banished by this card's effect, banish one of the cards you drew for your normal draw, then add that target to your hand. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn that you activate this card. Uh, activate this effect and you can only activate one regulated hand per duel this card is really 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 good like I'd, uh, I'd say maybe broke maybe broke I see it's between it's between really really good and broke because you it's pretty much like gold sark on crack because <laughs> you, you can go ahead and play this and of course since it's a continuous trap you can go ahead and just you know during your opponent's end phase regulated hand go ahead get your two cards draw okay well i don't want this so switch this out so unless your opponent has uh an mst to activate uh then uh yeah you're gonna be go ahead so it's pretty much just it's like gold start on crack because you can go ahead and just go ahead and banish two cards that you know that you want in your deck so you know you quickly want them as quick as possible just help everybody's consistency and just go ahead when you draw go ahead and just switch that card out so the card that you drew gets perma banished and this card well well not perma banished but banished and you can go ahead and just go ahead and search for any card so pretty much this card allows you to search for any card as long as your opponent doesn't have the response I, and and then your only cause is that you can't conduct your battle phase this turn shit if I can get any card that I want, then I don't give a shit, <laughs> you know? I can freaking, if I have a, a freaking graveyard full of monsters, I can go activate regulated hand. Oh, switch this card that I drew for a soul charge? Play soul charge? Like, oh, what? I can conduct my battle phase with regular, with, because I haven't played this card? I can't conduct my battle phase anyway because I'm playing soul charge. So I don't give a fuck. I'm about to go plus. I am about to net so much plus. And it's just because, like, being able to search for any card any card no that now now i say now being able to search for any card that, that's that's broke that's broke you know you know we have sangyan ban and he he searches for monsters that are 1500 or less this can search you for any card especially since it's a continuous trap card like i said during your opponent's end phase activate this switch get your two banners cards draw go ahead and switch it out it's, it's as simple as that it's as simple as that it's gold sark on crack like this card is definitely definitely ban worthy and God, it's just so good. It's so good. The only problem is if if you activate this card, uh, you activate this card, and its resolution effect when it activates, you banish the two cards. So you, as soon as you activate this card, this card has to resolve, and this card is activated. So you banish your two cards, and then then your opponent gets to respond. So if you activate this card, banish your two cards, and then your opponent responds with MST, you lost those cards. So. Uh, this card doesn't really specify if the cards are banished face up or face down. So, uh, does your opponent is it, uh, does your opponent get to look at the cards? Does your opponent get to see what the two cards that you banish and what cards you you know that you're adding to your hand, or is it just uh, you put them face down? I, I'm not sure, you know, because you know Gold Sark is face up, but you know Dimensional Capsule is face down, so. I'm not sure if that needs to be specified or not. I mean, if it's face down, like if it's face down and you banish the cards face down so your opponent can't see them and only you can see them, then when you're if your opponent would MST it, your your uh, your this card with your two card banished, those cards are per those cards are perma banned. You can't they're they're perma banished. They you can't get those cards back. You can't even select them. You can't even do anything to them because they're just gone. You know, they're not nothing. They're not monsters. They're not spell traps. You know, you, you really can't uh, describe what they are. So they're just kind of stuck there in the banish zone for the rest of the duel. But if they are face up, then you can interact with them with other cards. But I just think this card is just really rogue. Like, I think if Konami ever made this card, I think it would be banned. I think it would definitely be banned because it's just too powerful. It would definitely be a staple. You can only activate once per duel, so you know everybody would be running one. And just being able to just activate this during your opponent's end phase and then just get any card that you want, you know, <laughs> it's just like, oh, I activate this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and banish two cards. Oh, oh man, I drew into you know an Armageddon Knight. Okay, switch this Armageddon Knight for a uh, Swing of Memories or Super Vice. <laughs> Or, you know, go ahead and just draw. Oh, I drew into something that I don't need. Okay, switch this for one of my Constellar Sombres. Like, it allows you to search for anything. Like, no, this card, this card would be banned. This card would definitely be banned. All right, 
So, yeah, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.